24th of September 2022 it is 10 years of me on YouTube my first channel which is called real Russia I started exactly 10 years ago in the 24th of September 2012 my name is Sergey Baklakov this is my channel Baklakov live from St. Petersburg Russia local time 904 I'm in St. Petersburg Welcome back to St. Petersburg. This is Vasilevsky Island, Vasilyostrovskaya metro station. It's like the most uh, crowded place on Vasilevsky Island because here is one of only two metro stations uh, here. So like uh, most people are coming to this metro station who are living here or vice versa going out from here. Okay, so I continue my live streams. I think it's um, even uh, like more the, now it's the most important time it's uh, important as never continue making my live streams because you see I'm not sitting at home I'm not sitting in my kitchen and I'm not sitting just next to my computer you know rebroadcasting the web cameras and stuff like that and uh, to make it look like you know I know everything and I can provide you with uh, truthful information well here real time 
No cuts, no edits, no fake, no bullshit. And here, making the live streams, I actually never even leave so myself any chance, any room for you know any kind of any kind of BS. Okay, so here you can know that you receive the information like first hands first hand because here you actually see what happens so it's uh, the continue of the uh, like pretty historic times in Russia and uh, like uh, for the whole world 24th of September this is the fourth day of uh, the mobilization in Russia and uh, the second day of uh, the referendums which started in uh, Donetsk People's Republic, Lugansk People's Republic, Zaporozhye region and Kherson region. The referendums to join Russia. The referendum started yesterday at the 23rd of September and will go until 27th. I believe we will find out the results already at the 28th of September. Um, hello everybody. Okay, let's start from here. Vasilyasrovskaya metro station, the six line, you know, such a walking street, so the six line of Vasilyasky Islands. Let's start from here. This is Saturday, Saturday nights, the weekends, Saturday nights. And uh, now we will go and watch the consequences of uh, mobilization. St. Petersburg, Russia. Средний проспект, Middle Avenue of Vasilyasky Islands, Vasilyasrovskaya metro station. Гуляли всю ночь до утра. Hello, I'm ready, I'm ready, Remnant. Whoa, you celebrate already 17th month, 17th month of membership. Whoa, thanks so much. Look, this is the train. The train on the horsepower. Yeah, now the trains are in a horsepower here in Russia because this is the consequences of the sanctions, uh, unprecedented sanctions imposed on Russia already more than 11,000 uh, sanctions in seven packages. So that's it. And uh, so here, people, you know, people. You see, this is uh, these are the people who are waiting to flee to flee from Russia as it's uh, recently uh, reported in the Western media. <clears throat> Hello, Stephen Briggs. Message to Hill, Guitar, Dairy, Alex Gordon, Human of Earth, Nancy Estella, Impolite Discourse. Uh, who the dude? Ron Sudix, Susie Ku, Freak, everybody. Tomorrow is uh, 25th of September and this is a big day for St. Petersburg because uh, at the 25th of September 1906, 116 years ago, was born one of the most significant citizens of St. Petersburg, one of the most significant composers of Russia and the whole world, Dmitry Shostakovich. Dmitry Shostakovich and today here in St. Petersburg even the uh, uh, the bridges the bridges will be uh, raised under the music of Dmitry Shostakovich Dmitry Shostakovich 1906 1975 Dmitry Shostakovich it's unbelievable depth of a composer's mind Mr. Miss Texas G, Per Noel, Francois, hi to Africa. So this is the sixth line of uh, uh, Vasilyevsky Island of St. Petersburg, walking streets. That's where people are hanging out here in, in, in Vasilyevsky Islands. Yeah, they're hanging out many places, restaurants, cafes, bars, shavermo uh, places.
Hello to Seattle 206 Roberts, Kids A, everybody continue joining my totally awesome channel. Never forget to subscribe. By the way, thanks so much. Thank you all. Today we've reached 20,000 20, subscribers on my channel. 20,000. Yeah, which is, uh, which is actually not bad because uh, well, considering considering my channel is non-liberal, um, well, 20,000 subscribers, it's a lot. Barney Blair, just $10, I'm a cheapskate. No, that's okay. Thank you very much, Barney Blair. Thank you for supporting my channel. Uh, Barney Blair, thank you for supporting through donation dollars. It's uh, the best way to support my channel because while you know youtube takes from all the youtubers 30 percent fee the nation dollars like only five six percent hazrinka vrandras hello and thank you for congratulations on twenty thousand subscribers and nina g bianna gurst jonson lawrence curie thank you all guys yeah it has became possible uh, well, thankful to you because you are one of one of one of those twenty thousand subscribers. Dave O.P. Sergey, you should fake pray like Konstantin. No way, that's too much. Uh, John Rambo, hello. Luder, ninety-two. Yes, yeah, say Victor. Happy birthday, Dmitry Shostakovich. Hello, good fella. Hi, man. Are you drinking today? Vladimir Tarnovsky, Mancia Fortuna, Zephyr. 20,000 subscribers on your 10 year anniversary. Cool. Yeah. Uh, on my Real Russia channel, I actually, when I stopped making my Real Russia channel, I had 150. Uh, 150,000 subscribers. Well, my first channel, it still exists, but I just stopped making the content there uh, because actually I, uh, from vlogs, uh, mostly um, came to the live streams. Uh, Julie, Julie Autumn, Fiona East, Dennis Kembley, Unbird 13, Sergey Ivanov, uh, Ronalds, hi Ronalds, художество художника, hi. More of musicians. Paul Clark, hello Paul. St. Andrew's Cathedral. St. Andrew's Cathedral here on the corner of the sixth line of Vasilevsky Islands and uh, Bolshoi Prospect at the Grand Avenue of Vasilevsky Islands. Yes, yes. <clears throat> the travel vlogs were nice though. Well, I continue to travel even more now than I used to travel when I was making my real Russia channel. Yeah, for the last three summers, I've made it to already 70 cities and towns. Nobody, nobody in Russia, nobody around all Russian vloggers who are making this stuff in uh, uh, English language, nobody covers more than I did, not even close, not even close. Mark Morris, who fighting, Susie Ku. Yes, 70 cities, 70 cities. I mean, when I start list them all, I like, like name them all, it takes a lot of time, but imagine that yes, under Every of these names, there's literally thousands of and thousands of kilometers of me driving, you know, like thousands of dollars spent uh, from the budget that I have uh, through my memberships. Neil McDonald's, how many of the 20,000 subs are Northern Lights? <laughs> That's funny. I believe that now uh, he preferred to stay silent. 
but I think like maybe like 20, 20 of them for sure. High northern lights. Hello. <coughs> St. Andrew's Cathedral. Hello, Matt Mortensen. Buddy. So, 100,000 subscribers next month? Uh, I don't think so because because uh, mostly now it's uh, really hard. It's really hard um, um, to be recommended on YouTube when you're making non-liberal content. YouTube uh, pretty well understands now like neural networks of YouTube pretty much understands like what is the content about and this is actually scary because imagine what it would will be in like 10 years <clears throat> hello Lily Pop, David J, Tony M, Vasily Ostrovsky Markets this is uh, the food hall so-called food hall not food court but food hall which is pretty different thing. This was the very first place in Saint Petersburg with the concept of foot hole. Foot hole where they are intentionally have no intentionally have no uh, big brands. You will never find McDonald's, KFC, Burger King, and stuff like that. Only like. Uh, the uh, local local places local restaurants maybe even chains but it's like local chains small chains and uh, where they are making mostly like cooked foods even if it's burgers like here but this is the real burgers not like in McDonald's and uh, many different kinds of um, cuisine like here it's a um, soup fogo soup burgers matcha love you so much uh, there's uh, indian food beer on tap also like mostly local breweries st petersburg breweries and uh, russian breweries georgiani georgian bistro Uh, Dagestanian sushi sub zero place or oh, avocado points. I know where Swelling Sausage may come when he will finally visit St. Petersburg. Om Rani Ramnath, thank you very much for your super sticker. This is a raw fish and the raw raw bar and grill. Fire pizza, Italian pizza. So you see here is Italian, Dagestanian, Georgian, Indian. Vietnamese so it's uh, this place is consisted of like two parts that part is like more like a uh, typical market more like just a market fruits vegetables nuts dried fruits fish yes sea urchins water shops Oh, that's it, that's it. Vasily Ostrovsky Market. 
I remember how three years ago it was opened and I filmed here my uh, vlog. Yes, it was the first place, the very first place in St. Petersburg with a concept of a foothold. At first, this concept came to Moscow and, uh, well, a few years after to St. Petersburg. Then uh, they opened a huge uh, foothold in Galleria Mall on the fifth floor, Eat Market, if you remember. And also there's uh, now, just uh, last week, they opened another place, which is uh, called Moskovsky Market. Yeah, that also like uh, the place which used to be the market. And uh, now they turned that into the foothold. Yeah, people love foothold. Because here in St. Petersburg, many people love like really nice cooked foods, not just the fast foods. To new Tahitian fire, greetings from San Diego, California. Hi to San Diego. Hi, everybody. Continue joining my totally awesome stream here in St. Petersburg. Now I'm filming everything what happens here. I'm not sitting at home. I'm not sitting in my room. I'm not sitting in my uh, kitchen. I'm not uh, sitting in the rebroadcasting the uh, web cameras from different uh, cities of Russia, uh, pretending that I know what happens. Here I'm showing you the real stuff, the real stuff. I think now my streams important as never before. Okay, here you see non-stop, real time, no cuts, no edits, no fake, no bullshit, no any chance, no any room for me, like uh, <clears throat> to give you the bullshit. Because I'm just walking everywhere, everywhere, and you really see what happens, what really happens, not what they say happens here. Yeah, Lily Poop, no vodka today. <coughs> Actually, I'm okay. <laughs> but... Uh, it's taken a lot of time for me today to go back to normal after yesterday. Pam McCoy, hi. Uh, Christ, homeism, homeism, Mollis Volik. Uh, what do you think about the recent prisoners exchange? Well, that's no good at all, considering who was exchanged. And um, it's uh, pretty bad, not even for Russia, but I would say probably in a uh, few years, it's gonna be a bigger, way bigger problem for the Europe than for Russia. Hello, Steve Parsons. Foothold under unprecedented, unprecedented sanctions. It's your mom. Hello, hello from California, Central Valley. Hi, it's your mom. Thank you for your totally, totally awesome stream, Sergey. Yeah, you're welcome. The thing is, the thing. Come on, come on. I mean, let's let's be sincere. Let's be clear. Come on. Everybody knows that before the 24th of February, uh, the whole Europe and uh, the, I mean, the European press, it was full of articles concerning about Azov Battalion and not only in Ukraine. It is now like everybody forgot about it, but I'm afraid that now it can be a, it's like a, how to say, slow bomb or a postponed bomb. First of all, first of all, like for the uh, euro, which is like it is around Ukraine. So this is Dominika Trizini, one of the very first architects of uh, uh, St. Petersburg, Trizinia Hotel. And uh, here we came to the uh, embankment of Neva River. Amazing, amazing embankment of Neva River. I will show you now the Sphinx, which are already 3,500 years old. The police, the road police, which is like GPS, it's Darozhne, Patrolna Slurba, which is literally the roads and the petrol uh, 
uh, service. We have 22 seconds. Yeah, that's why I love all these final countdowns on every, almost every traffic light. Here you really can appreciate how uh, much time left before you will see the red lights. And you can appreciate, will you have enough of time just to cross the streets without needing to uh, run run pretty pretty fast yeah I don't, I don't really like running when I'm walking because I don't like to sweat the Academy of Arts and uh, ladies and gentlemen let me show you the Sphinx the Sphinx which are already 3500 years old in 1832, they were purchased from Egypt. And in 1832, they bring them here. The Russian Tsar, Nicholas, Nicholas I, he is actually uh, was making the consultations with the Academy of Art. If it really makes sense, if it really makes sense to bring it here, if it's really worth that, if they are really authentic and stuff like that. And so they installed them here. 3,500 years old and only 200 out of those 3,500, they are staying here. Two Sphinx. Neva, Neva River, Blagovechensky Bridge, Annunciation Bridge. Uh, this is the very first bridge that uh, the ships are meeting when they are entering St. Petersburg from the side of the Gulf of Finland, which is actually a part of Baltic Sea. Yep, yep. St. Isaac's Cathedral. And uh, the second Sphinx. What time is it there? It's 9.28. Here is the memorial sign, 1832. That's when they bring them. That's when they bring them here to Saint Petersburg. Mark Davis, our female subject to subscription in Russia, Sergey. I think like it's only in a very, 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 uh, how to say, uh, in the most critical situation. It can be only in the most critical situation. High gang of four. I just noticed already more than 600 viewers, which is great. Sergey, where is Scarlet sales kept during winter? I don't know. Just in one of the ports. Hi, John T. Have you gone? Have you got, I guess? your mobilization notice yet? No yet.
and stewards Suri Surikan continue joining the stream we are in St. Petersburg um, walking all around and see what happens as always real time non-stop no cuts no edits no fake no bullshit you see that hello JJ NS Benson Troy Dennis Campbell Today here will be the parade, the parade of the historic sail, sailboats. <coughs> Dennis Campbell, thank you very much for the super sticker. Thank you for supporting my uh, non-liberal channel. Let me show you now the very first stone building, stone building in St. Petersburg. This is Alexander Menshikov Palace. Alexander Menshikov, he was one of the uh, closest associates of Peter the Great and a big friend of Peter the Great and the first governor of St. Petersburg. So in fact, it's like the governor's house. It's the house which used to belong to Alexander Menshikov. And Peter the Great, as you know, the founder of St. Petersburg, the old Russia emperor. One of the greatest emperors ever. Yeah, Peter the Great, also known as Peter the First Romanov. He is from the dynasty of Romanovs. You know, here in uh, the history of Russia, for already more than 1,000 history of Russia was two uh, dynasty of rulers. The dynasty of Ryuriks, which has like existed for 700 years, and the dynasty of Romanovs. St. Isaac's Cathedral always beautiful Alexander Menshikov Holy Bizyuks High Holy Lars Wilson Shinard <coughs> Joseph Joseph Blow Maser Bridge and Tunnel Scooter Club <laughs> Tunui Taitian Fire eight nine eight seven Sergey how do you do you identify politically? as a capitalist, socialist, communist, or other. I actually think that uh, I'm more like a I'm more like for a mix of uh, the socialism and capitalism. There is many advantages and disadvantages in both socialism and capitalism. Anastasia, thank you very much, Anastasia, from Hungary, all the time supporting my channel. 
Red 17 Reptilian Network News. Uh, you need alcohol because sanctions are getting hard. Yeah, we saw there that's already uh, for instead of trams, like the electric trams, they use like the horsepower, I mean the natural horsepower there. Hey, hey. Hello, the uh, resist. Bogdan, hi Bogdan, Skrip, Skrip Chario. For the reason of the uh, upcoming parade, I don't see the tour boats riding today. Uh, Sergey, can you please make live stream about the Romanov? Well, two weeks ago, I was filming inside of there, uh, the Winter Palace, the main royal palace of Russia, where is now the Hermitage, state Hermitage. And there I was walking around the main rooms and halls of the royal palace. And there's uh, the whole portrait gallery of the Romanovs. But yeah, little by little, I will make more. I told you that now, starting from now, I will getting back once a month uh, to Hermitage. And every time there will be different subjects. And uh, sure, I think that I will cover more about the Romanovs. Hello, E. I. Mirek Prakachka. Ron Jansen. Esma Darlington. Charles Martel. Stolen arts from Europe there. Look, nobody ever, ever climbed that. But what is true, there is a lot of, there is a lot of arts from Russia all over the world because of the revolution. In uh, 1917, because of the revolution organized by the leftists and liberals, the aristocracy fled together with all their treasures. A lot of arts. Uh, St. Petersburg State University. That's why this uh, embankment called University Embankment. This is one of the main buildings of St. Petersburg State University. And there's Mikhail Lomonosov, the most significant scientist of 18th century in Russia. Capitalism created this cell phone. Well, this, well, exactly, exactly this cell phone, yes. But what about the technologies? Actually, many technologies which are now used for the cell phones and uh, the cell phone net uh, connection itself. It was, it was yet uh, created in the Soviet Union by the Soviet scientists. So it's actually rooting from the socialism.
the Soviet electronic scientists, they were making big, big achievements in terms of electronics, yet in the Soviet days. Well, I would say they were, they were creating and inventing the, the base, the base for the further development of all of this. So this is the very first public museum in Russia, in St. Petersburg, founded by Peter the Great himself. The first public museum, it's called Kunstkamera. Kunstkamera means museum of curiosities. There is many curiosities, but let me tell you that 95% of people, first of all, going here for the collection of babies in the jars, the babies with mutations. Yeah, it's a uh, like, world-known collection. Hello, Kerry Butler. <clears throat> the Palace Bridge, because it's right next to the Winter Palace. Yes, Palace Bridge, Dvorcovy Most. Varsovic Palace. The speed of Vasilevsky Islands. Dvorcovy, the palace bridge connecting the central uh, district of St. Petersburg and Vasilevsky Islands of uh, St. Petersburg. Famous rosal columns, the columns which are decorated with the rosters. These are actually the noses of the ships. Mark Morris, great walking city, yes. Absolutely flat, absolutely flat. You know why? Because uh, when in uh, 1703, Peter the Great came here, here was a lot of swamps and actually here is a lot of lands which is literally literally staying on a uh, former swamps yes swamps and uh, this is really great and uh, here actually I uh, when I'm walking here when I'm walking here um, I already got used like to walk the flatlands and then when if you remember I traveled to another cities and if uh, that's like you know having a lot of heels. I already like feel it. I already like feel it. I feel the difference between, yeah, like, damn it, walking in St. Petersburg, totally flat St. Petersburg, especially here in the central parts of it. Damn it, and somewhere else. Vasilevsky Islands, and uh, now from Vasilevsky Islands, I will go to uh, the central district. We now will go through, or should I say, over Neva River, Neva Mother, the main river of Saint Petersburg. Only in three kilometers from here, there's the place I used to show you many times. That's the uh, confluence of uh, Neva River and Gulf of Finland. It's literally the gate from Europe to Russia and vice versa, from Russia to Europe. So that's why Peter the Great founded this city here. Because it's a very important strategic point. Yeah, believe me. Well, in St. Petersburg, not the best climate, far not the best climate. And uh, it, I just told you that here was the swamps. It's like not the best landscape, but it's pretty important strategic points. 
So the genius of Peter the Great, however, was able to found a great city. Great city invited a lot of scientists, um, architects, the specialists, great specialists. And look, and look, actually, all what we can see here, of course, not everything constructed in the times of Peter the Great, not everything, but he laid down, if I can say so, that basement. Globus, Globus Hystericus, hi. Yeah, Winter Palace, Hermitage, 1756. An architect Francesco Bartolomeo Rastrelli, Baroque, Baroque, uh, to be exact, so called Elizabeth Baroque. Uh, the Baroque with uh, some um specifics which loves elizabeth the daughter of peter the great and catherine the first is it cold here you're asking well it's plus 10 degrees celsius well, it's relatively, relatively, it's not cold yet. Because in Russia, like really cold, it's like minus 30 degrees Celsius. That's really cold. And after all, it's already at the end of September. It's already like really like an autumn, an autumn here. <laughs> Look, recently, recently, they got the lions, famous lions next to the Admiralty for the global renovation and they will get back um i've heard only in the end of the in the end of the year well if you remember last year they renovated the bronze horseman uh, monuments to peter the great yeah you see like the high season got over and they removed them usually when they are making the renovation of significance uh, monuments they are making it in the off season I mean like off tourist season little by little people already coming here and waiting for the upcoming uh, parade the parade uh, the parade of historic sails or should I say sailboats it's more than an hour John Bracic and everybody who continue joining my totally awesome channel. Thank you for subscribing today. Thankful to you, to all of you. I've reached already 20,000 subscribers. Dennis Martinez, everybody, everybody. Sailing vessels. Okay, JJNS, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, uh, sailing vessels. <coughs> This is the Admiralty, one of the wings of the Admiralty. The Admiralty back in the uh, um, 18th, 19th century, it was a ship building plan. Look, starting from here and all the way to the next wing, where now you see this building? Well, it was the like docks, okay? They were making the ships. For all the history of the Admiralty, they are constructed. Uh, more than 240 vessels and look right from here there was the exit to Neva river right to the water right to the water and uh, this was a whole like idea 
of um, Peter the Great, Peter the Great, the idea of Peter the Great uh, to make the fleet, Russian fleet, he was a real fan of uh, ships, boats, and uh, he himself knew how exactly to construct, uh, or should I say, to build the, uh, uh, the ships. And uh, he sometimes even himself was coming and just was working as just a you know, regular worker. Let's say he was making the carpentry works. And here we even have the monuments of Peter the Great making the carpentry works. I believe he just enjoyed that. He just enjoyed that, you know. So that's it, that's it. Uh, Peter the Great making some carpentry works. Peter the Great himself, he really enjoyed, he really enjoyed everything about the sea, everything about the boats. Peter the Great, I'm telling you, he is the great all Russia emperor. One of the greatest emperors ever. Pizza, Peter the Great. Ho ho! Ho ho! Yes, yes, dudes. Believe me. Believe me. <coughs> and still, everything what we see in uh, St. Petersburg, it's all the heritage of uh, Peter the Great. It is he, like, uh, raised a huge level of everything here the level of culture the level of architecture ho oh, oh. yeah. ho Peter the Great believe me believe me here reason the stakes of the culture history and architecture and the science pretty much Where are all the tourists? Mm, I mean, you really don't see the people. They are everywhere. Actually, this year, this year, Russia was beating all the records in terms of the tourism. Because after the Europe made it harder for Russians to travel. Well, in the summer, this summer, it was yet possible and still possible to travel for Russians to the most of European countries and not only like the world, but it is starting to be more complicated and more expensive. For example, the airplanes now like flying, um, if uh, like he was able to fly in many places directly, now mostly everybody have to fly with the connecting flights in uh, Istanbul, uh, Serbia, uh, Belgrade, uh, Dubai. So like uh, it, it is really like increased the price of the tickets, the price of the tour significantly. And so like Russians who used to travel all over the world, they started traveling inside of Russia and uh, uh, I've heard so many comments that damn it's, it's like it became it just became like some kind of confession for so many Russians that damn it here is so many places amazing places to travel in Russia wow and we just for the last 30 years we've been taught that it's like the best vacation the best trip is when you're just coming to Turkey, so all-inclusive hotel and just for 10 14 days grilling your tummy and eat in that unlimited buffet but on my channel i was taking you to so many cities and towns to so many places and i debanked debank it if you if you remember debank it already many times the myth that in russia the only I called decent towns or cities, Moscow and St. Petersburg. Ho oh, oh. ho! I was taking you to Samara, Ulyanovsk, Sviyarsk, Kazan, Chubaksare, Nizhny Novgorod, 
Moscow, The Golden Ring, Сергиев Пассат, Переславль Залесский, Ростов Великий, Ярославль, Кострома, Иванова, Владимир, Суздаль, Уфа, Стерлитамак, Кумертау, Оренбург, Бирск, Магнитогорск, Челябинск, Екатеринбург, Тюмень, Пермь, Вологда, Киров, Петрозаводск, Кижи Айлендс, Киндесово Вилледж, Киллермо Вилледж, Териберка Вилледж, Мурманск, Оленигорск, Мончегорск, Апатиты, Кировск, Кандалакша, Кемь, Беломорск, Сигежа, Псков, Выборг, Великий Новгород, Тверь, Валдай, Ростов-он-Дон, Краснодар, Сочи, Адлер, Рязань, Тамбов, Пенза, Саранск, I was taking you there, Калининград, I was taking you there everywhere. And we saw how amazing, amazing it's everywhere. And that's only me covering only like 70 cities, towns out of 1,150 towns in Russia. Smolensk, I was not in Smolensk yet. I just named all the uh, towns I was in for the last three summers. In every of these cities I was taking you, you can find it on my channel. You see, I told you that nobody, nobody, nobody covers more of uh, Russian territory than I did, than I did. Nobody around the Russian English language bloggers. They all just fucking sitting at home in their frigging chickens. Uh, chickens? Yeah, like chickens in the kitchens. Okay, I'm actually taking you to the real places. And that's what is my channel all about. Baklakov life. In all kinds of it. Real time. Always, if I can say so, in fields. Real time. Non-stop no cuts no edits and that's why no fake no bullshit i'm just literally never leaving just even technically never leave for myself a room a room for any bullshit because everything happens here and now and uh that's why you are subscribing my channel thank you today we've reached 20 000 subscribers on my new channel on this channel, Buckle of Life. Oh, Westra, thank you for subscribing my channel. <coughs> Shady from Rhodes Islands. Junior Skinner! Yes, the Admiralty Avenue. It's, um, well, almost 10 o'clock. Sergey is the man, love his channel. Yes, that's why yesterday you've joined the membership of my channel. Here on my channel, everybody knows that when you're joining my channel, uh, when you're joining the membership of my channel, that is the budget which goes for the creation of a great contents all over Russia. Already now, nobody covers even close to what I covered to you. I already showed you 70 cities and towns of Russia. Nobody else deeds even close to that. Not even bold and bankrupt. Well, he's not Russian, but he was making a lot of Russian content. Well, the only, the only difference 
which is actually kind of big. Uh, that um, Bulls and Bancraft used to travel to a lot of like really remote places. But those were not too many places anyway. Mark Morris, thank you very much, Sergey the Great. Uh, Robert Baskets, thank you for subscribing my channel. Everybody continue to subscribe my totally awesome channel. Jiri uh, Zajik, hi. We together making this channel even greater, even greater. Hidden Tenor, thank you for subscribing. That's big time. Belanova, Analyzation, everybody, everybody. Everybody get a groove on. So continue, the local time. 10, 10 o'clock, we continue walking all around St. Petersburg and see what happens, what happens in these historic times. 24th of September, it's the time when here already for four days goes the mobilization and already for two days there goes the referendums in uh, Donetsk People's Republic, Lugansk People's Republic, Kherson region and Zaporozhye region to join Russia. Bill, Bill Coleman, Sergey, please put this to good use. Kit Kat, Russia, Greece, Kit Kat, Bill Coleman. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Yes, you can be sure that I will put it to the good news. <coughs> Bill, if you enjoyed, if you enjoyed my stuff that I was making all over Russia for the last three years, then you can be sure that I'm making the good use, the good use. Taketo Kitagawa. Takero. Congrats on 20,000 subscribers, Bratan, Rydos, Roth, 17. Thank you all. It's also like, believe it or not, but today it's uh, exactly 10 years of me on YouTube. At the 24th of September, 2012, I started my first channel. Actually, this is my second channel. For uh, seven and a half years, I was making, like for eight years, okay, for okay, seven, like eight years, I was making another channel called Real Russia. Um, but then I started Baklakov Live because uh, just I used to make the li uh, vlogs. Now I'm making the live streams, and uh, I uh, suppose that it will be better just to move everything to my live channel. And uh, back then, not everybody loves uh, that I switched from like you know such uh, vlogs to the live streams. Not everybody loves live live streams, it's saying that it's like too long and all this stuff that they don't have time and they loved my uh, vlogs, and now this is just a boring shit, like too long, blah, blah, blah. But dudes, dudes, the thing is, um, it's considered that every seven years, we, the people, in average, every seven years, we're making a huge, uh, how to say, re-appreciation, if I can say so. Uh, well, if, if like to try to make the literal translation, like re-appreciation, like uh, of the values and stuff like that and anyway just after seven years of making something like the same uh well you want to start making something else i believe that so maybe in like four five years from now i probably will not do the live streams at least on a regular basis will want to do something else or maybe it will happen even faster who knows uh, Brian McGuinea, but I just did how I felt I have to do. Mark Morris, to 10 more, thank you very much. Another Mark just subscribed to my channel. <sighs> Brian Masotia watching from Kenya. Do you Russians know Kenya? Well, I mean, yeah, we know that such a country exists.
Bill Coleman, thank you, Mark Morris, for uh, support. Yes, and uh, Bill, thank you too once again. Uh, amazing, generous support to my channel. Uh, Peter the Great, meanwhile, Peter the Great, it's um, considered, and it's really so, that this is the most famous monument to Peter the Great. Peter the Great, yes. И ай, спасибо, Сергей, что показываешь красоту страны. Скоро назад хочу приехать в Калифорнию. После 25 лет здесь уже надоело. Thank you, Sergey, that you're showing the beauty of the country. Soon I want to come back. Uh, uh, kind of bored with California after being for 25 years here. Well, you're welcome. Enjoy, enjoy my stuff. Enjoy my stuff. I love making this stuff. John F. watching from 2015. Awesome. It's great to see. Uh, I wonder if somebody here now in this chat who uh, with me already since 2012. 2012. The YTV, thank you for subscription. Yeah, Peter the Great on the horse. Yes, and uh, his face directed to Neva River. He loved Neva River. He loved St. Petersburg. This is his creation. Hello, random. Ah, Courtney, yeah, Courtney Page. I can confirm that Courtney Page here since 2012. Oh, Davis. Those who are here from 2012, they remember my daughter being like five years old. And uh, recently, just at the 12th of September, we celebrated already 15, 15 free years. Time flies. And this is uh, uh, a former Senate building, Senate. And now this is the course of Constitution of Russia. The course of Constitution. Hello, Tatiana, Flowerella, everybody. Damn, time flies. Time flies when you're having fun. Break his heart. Break your heart. He used to be my boss and now he's just a puppet dancer. I am a DJ. I've got believers. I'm home. Lost my job and incurably ill. You think this? This easier realism. I've got a girl right there, I suppose. I think she's dancing. What do I know? I am a DJ. I am what I play. I've got believers. Believe in me. Uh, Tunui Taitian Fire 987. How do Russians view modern China under Xi Jinping? Well, I think that most uh, Russians just kind of neutral to that. And uh, most Russians, I think they are kind of satisfied that we don't have any, like, at least serious tensions with China. Uh, and uh, there's the partnership getting developed all the time in terms of uh, BRICS, which is the union of Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, and SEO, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. In 2015, in Ofa, in my hometown of Ofa, when I yet lived there, there was uh, one of the summits of BRICS and SEO. Back then, I was the only vlogger, YouTuber invited uh, to that event. And I saw there as Putin, as uh, Xi Jinping, Narendra Modi. Back then, the president of uh, Brazil was Delma Rousseff. I saw them all, and uh, it seems like they have a great relationship. 
<clears throat> Actually, uh, for the world, it's better to realize better sooner than later that it's better to be friends and partners with Russia. How did you learn English? Well, just in uh, my Soviet school. But, of course, practice, practice, practice. I already told you that today it's exactly 10 fucking years since I'm on YouTube. And uh, so, like, all these 10 years, I all the time speaking English, uh, making my stuff, making my content, and reading a lot of your comments. And this also, like, helps to understand how to be more correct, correct. I think that's now my English is better than it used to be 10 years ago because, well, to say honest, when I uh, learned English, I mostly was focused on the vocabulary, was not um, learning the rules pretty much. And now I just like see how you write to me and um, already like consciously know how to say this or that more correct but still I think that still I think still I'm making enough of mistakes not in the words and maybe in the words too but in, in terms of how I construct the uh, sentences Manish, it's a former Manish, it's like for horse training, but now this is the central ex exhibition hall. I was taking you there, if you remember, for the exhibits of uh, two significant Russian artists, Soviet artists, Deineka and Samakhvalov, their works in the style of uh, social realism. Lies Voss, thank you for subscribing my channel. Hello, Alessia Volkova, 10 years ago I was nine. Damn, you see? It's like, you know, Alessia Volkova growing up from being, uh, from being just a, you know, just like a baby in, in, in the third grade to like growing up lady. She's, I guess, 19 now. Hello, Matt Ward, Stuart's 20, your English is great. Well, it's interesting, but I, I actually still receive, still receive the comments, like uh, my English is like weird. And uh, of course that my accent is weird too. But many people don't understand it, that I never, I never thought about the relocation from Russia. And uh, that's why I never, I never, I never wanted to sound like I am, I don't know, native, like European, native European, if I can say so, or uh, like, a, um, more like an American or so. So for me, it's just a tool. And yeah, let it be clear that I'm a foreigner, that, that, that I'm not a European or Australian or, uh, or, or American, because for me, it's just a tool, a tool, you see? I told you all the time for all 10 years, okay um if i wanted to move to let's say united states i already would do that for example a, a friend of mine renat who used to be my cameraman for some time well it's after i already stopped to work with grom sergey grom uh well he was helping me and now already for five years he's living in north carolina and in, in matthews okay so he just he just moved and uh, believe me, and I have way more possibilities than he has. Because when I was coming to the United States back in 2016, I had a, a bunch, a bunch of people uh, meeting me from New York to LA. I was staying in the place uh, of like my subscribers in New York, in Philadelphia, in Richville, Ohio, in Cleveland, in uh, Chicago, Illinois, in Omaha, Nebraska, in um, San Francisco, Angels Camp, in um, 
Los Angeles. And even now, if I will tell you that, hey, dudes, I decided to come to visit you again. And uh, so uh, if somebody if somebody's ready to host me, I'm sure, I'm sure you will overload my frigging mailbox. So I had way more possibilities to move, but you see, I'm not lying when I'm saying that never I was thinking about that. Russia and only Russia I see as my permanent place of live, as my home. Well, would love like from time to time to travel here and there, but well, let's say I absolutely enjoyed so uh, my uh, three weeks in, in, in the United States, then also like another one month in the United States. But um, uh, even though I had a great time, I have found there's like really, uh, it, it's uh, not better than Russia. It's different, but it's not better. Especially if, uh, for example, now, Considering I'm living in St. Petersburg, okay, which is the best city, the best city in Russia and uh, definitely one of the best cities in the whole world. So uh, I can tell you that I, I can say that, well, I am probably as happy as I can be here now. I absolutely, I absolutely feel myself free here like in my place if i can say so we have such a saying in russia быть в своей тарелке to be in your own uh, plate okay so it's like i love it i love this uh, 19th century flavor i love this architecture i love this um, huge uh, how to say history everything i love it I love it, it's absolutely great for walking, you know, because everywhere where you walk, it's flat, it's beautiful, it's safe, it's amazing. <clears throat> this is now Four Seasons Lions Hotel. used to be the mansion of Lobanov Rostovsky. Yeah, was such a Lobanov Rostovsky. He was mansion. Now this is the hotel. It's called Four Seasons Lions Hotel because you see there are two lions. Lions, it's, you will find like hundreds and hundreds of lions in St. Petersburg, they are considered as the city guards who never sleep. You see, actually, under the paw of uh, the lions, there's the bull. You know why there is the bull? It's like if they will start falling asleep. So in this case, the bull will get out of their paw and that's what they will buzz them again. That's what will the buzz them. So that's how they never sleeps. Yeah, many uh, lions, and many of them are significant lions. Uh, I even was making like a tour. I myself like invented the tour. And I remember it's like just for, for, for you. It's like walking through seven of the most significant lions. So it's like the lions on the lion bridge, the lions on bank bridge. It's actually not even like, it's the lions with the wings. Some call them griffins, but griffins are a little bit different. But okay, these lions, the lions on the, uh, um, next to the admirals here, on the piers. St. Isaac's Cathedral. The construction started in 1818 and they finished that in 1858. Yes, 40 freaking years they constructed this. 40 years designed by Agus Monferran. An architect Agus Monferran. Oh, 
party, party bus. What is the cost of the petrol? Well, it's about 80 cent per liter. If talk about 92 octane gas. Yeah, party bus. Let's check it out. Party bus. Party to party. Party bus. It's like bar on the колеса, bar on the wheels. It's like literally bus. The music, lights, D3, crowds. Okay, party bus. Hello, Dre. <clears throat> Three revolutionary hotels. Angleterre and uh, Astoria. Astoria, that's where Hitler already wanted to um, celebrate taking of Leningrad, but never worked. Never. Ronan, Ron, thank you for subscri subscribing. Zelina got the best. I forgot if I told you hi, but if not, hi. If said, okay, not a big deal. <laughs> to say twice. Dirty, dirty white boy. Hi, man. In the US, our media is reporting that lots of men are fleeing, are fleeing Russia. Is there any truth for that? It's truth that, well, some people fleeing, but many i'm not sure like considering to what uh if talk about the uh like the percentage of the population and like men's population i i don't think that it's like even 0.01 percent really well anyway this is why i'm telling you that it's important for me to continue these live streams where we're just like walking i mean like we're walking the actual streets here and now in real time and you can see how many people how many how many men how many girls how many like uh middle-aged guys how many teens how many you know older guys and stuff like that well as far as i can see i, I don't actually i don't see the difference i mean like, visually you can't see any difference. Like in St. Petersburg, as always, at least in St. Petersburg, as always, a lot of people. But look, the guys like who flee, not to get to the army, they're always where the guys like that's everywhere. Always were, now is, and always will be. Fleeing to Finland, I believe to everywhere. <laughs> Male Marskaya, small marine streets. As you know, here lived uh, Tchaikovsky. Yes, Tchaikovsky. I was taking you to the town, little town, where Tchaikovsky was born and lived for the first eight years of his life. 
now where he lived now there's the memorial uh, museum it's like the whole mansion where he lived it's now the um, historical museum the thing is he lived in a great mansion because back in those days in 1980 his father was a head of the Vodkinsk plate plant and uh, there was like the house for all the heads while you are the heads of uh, the whole plant, Vodkinsk plant, you are living in that amazing, huge mansion. So yeah, he never owned that, but while he was uh, the heads of the plants, they lived there. It's uh, the mansion right next to Vodka River. Yes, not Vodka, not D, but T, Vodka. And the town is called Vodkinsk. It's uh, 50 kilometers from Izhevsk, the town of Izhevsk, where was born Mikhail Kalashnikov, the inventor of AK-47. And I also was taking you there, now there's the museum, like a huge museum, Kalashnikov Museum. So in 1848, Pyotr Tchaikovsky moved to St. Petersburg. He actually supposed to be the, law the lawyer. And he even studied in uh, the College of Laws. But it's so great that he never turned to be the lawyer. Well, exactly him. Because he turned to be one of the most significant composers of the world. Everybody, even if you have no clue, and the classical music, symphony music, but you know his tunes. You may not even know that it is Tchaikovsky, but you know his tunes. The Nutcracker, Swan Lake, Sleeping Beauty, symphonies, piano concertos, especially piano concerto number one. Ho -ho. And that's only a little list of uh, like all of his works known and played all over the world everywhere, all the time. Sergey, I think that the smart swan sling... No, there's no such a correlation. Uh, it's like the most co coward fling. But uh, their intellectual level can be like pretty different. So Tchaikovsky lives in this uh, residential building and he um, and he died here in 19 oh, in 1893 in the age of 53. Look, here is the memorial plaque that Tchaikovsky lived here. Yeah, at the 25th of October 1983, he died here in this residential building. You know what? One of the versions, like why he died, it's like uh, I was taking you to the literary cafe, which is like here, two blocks from here, right on the intersection of uh, Nevsky Prospect and the embankment of Moika River. So, it's the cafe there which is exists since 1816 yet pushkin dostoevsky and Tchaikovsky also used to hang out there he came there and he said he needs the water and the way waiter told him that you know we don't have a boiled water and he said i don't care then give me just a raw water and he gave him the raw water and uh, that actually water was in infected, okay? The water with the infection. And so that's how he got sick and uh, dies pretty fast. If it's really so, then it's really, it's really ridiculous for such a great genius, music genius, to die only in the age of 53. Damn it, just because of the raw freaking water. Uh, Anders Ljunggren, 
thank you very much for your super sticker. I appreciate it. What was in the water? Well, I just like guess some kind of microbes. Bacteria. That's why you drink beer and not water. That's correct. That's correct. Ho oh, ho. Stouts. Yeah, in that alcohol, all the bacteria supposed to be that. Hello, John Mac, Mac Darmins, the trolley bus. Funny guys. Okay, and you know what? You know what is here? What is inside of this building? Here is the entrance to the deepest metro station in whole Russia. The deepest. It's called Admiralteyske. Yeah, the metro station, which is like close as to St. Isaac's Cathedral, as to the uh, Palace Square. You know, in order to construct uh, the entrance to the metro station, they had completely demolished demolish this residential building and then to construct it again because uh, well the architects really worked hard on how they can uh, make it without the demolishing the building but then came to conclusion it's impossible and they completely rebuilt but now it's uh, more like a, it's a mall it's not the residential building but from the outside it looks absolutely the same because it's um, a very serious here is a very serious uh, rules in terms of the architecture and uh, you can't you can't you know you, you can't demolish building and then construct and to make it look different because everything here is under a very strict architectural defense of the government And this is so-called Wawelberg, the house which used to belong to Wawelberg. One of not many gray buildings in St. Petersburg because, you know, St. Petersburg actually having not the best uh, climate, not many sunny days. If you talk about autumn, winter, uh, early spring. And uh, it was yet the decree of Peter the Great. He said that the buildings here have to be uh, uh, painted into the bright colors but this one is great it's gray and this is one of not many gray buildings not many gray buildings um, and uh, back then those ones those ones who however was making however was making um, the buildings like this they actually paid a higher tax as some kind of you know penalty penalty for this for not following for this also i think that however after all they allowed some of such buildings not many of them just like for just a little bit difference a little bit difference after all they they used to understand that it's nothing bad if like okay several buildings however will be dark
In the Soviet days, here was the main office of Aeroflot, Russian Airlines, Soviet Airlines. Now here is the hotel, by the way. The hotel, which was opened, I guess, like less than a year ago. It's completely turned into uh, the hotel. Look, I see the police started working here. They already started to block the area around uh, the Winter Palace because they're now going to begin uh, the parades. And uh, little by little, I also now will go there. I hope there will be not too many people because usually when there's too many people, uh, there's the problem with LTE connection because like everybody's starting filming, you know, like uh, uh, and sending to the social networks to their friends and WhatsApp, calling with look, look, <laughs> you see that? <laughs> look, <gasps> look, mom. Sergey, have you ever done the private tours uh, to people who come to Russia? Uh, yes, for my uh, subscribers, I used to make some private tours. But it was not cheap, okay? <laughs> you hear me? It was not cheap. So think about it. Shurik Kolyganov, hi Shurik. It's been a while I saw you. Thank you. So the entrance from this side of... Um, from this side of... Winter Palace is closed, okay, let's go this way. Nevsky Prospects. Why are the police blocking roads? Because there is now the uh, parade, parade on Neva, uh, the parade of uh, historic sailing vessels, and that's where we go. Are you afraid to get drafted? No, I'm not afraid. Those who are those who are afraid, they are now fleeing the monuments to the heroes of Leningrad in the years of the siege of Leningrad. Citizens, while shelling this side of the streets, is the most dangerous for the memory about the bravery of the people of Leningrad in the days of 900 days of the siege of Leningrad. Yeah, 8th of September 1941, 27th of January 1944. That's when the siege of Leningrad started and over. So yeah, 8th of September and 27th of January are one of the most significant memory days for the people of Leningrad. Wobbleberg. Wobbleberg. Now it's called Wobbleberg Hotel, by the way. Uh, nice option for you to stay here, but get ready to pay decent money. Hello, Pamela. Pamela, peace check. Glad to see you. And by the way, this parade that we can see now, it's uh, dedicated to so-called All Russia. Um, day of tourism, or should I say, should I say, All Russia Tourism Day? Thomas Jurila, hi, Andrew Boylson.
Okay. So the end of Nevsky Prospects or the beginning depends on how you look at it. Well, historically, this is the end because they started constructing it uh, from the side of Alexander Nevsky Monastery. Never seen so much police forces. Well, when it's a big holidays here, it's always a lot of police, which is uh, provides the security. <laughs> the thing is, here was the concerts all day long on Pellet Square, and now everybody goes for the upcoming uh, parade. I hope. I hope not too many people because it's already like off season it's uh already not that uh, warm because when there's too many people damn it i have a problem with lte everybody start using lte you know filming the videos uh, sending the videos in the social networks also like another streamers are coming or something or people just calling <laughs> through WhatsApp to their family like hey look look Jorge Silva hi man night shift hi okay so yeah this was uh, here was the concerts there's food trucks. <laughs> That's for the first time I see the food trucks on Palace Square. Yeah, you remember, usually it's like just an open square. It looks like an amazing city, Ronan. Not only amazing. Not only looks like, <laughs> but it is. It's uh, like uh, 17 minutes to the beginning of the parade, the parade of sailing vessels. Hello, Alexei Samohin. Take us to Russian strip club, squid. So you really think that you can sell me to go to the Russian strip club and I will go? In order to get my uh, channel blocked? Are you okay? Are you okay? Not to mention you're, tell, tell, you're saying me to take you to the strip club, Russian strip club but making it without the respect. When is the parade? As I said, 17 minutes. Well, already 16 minutes. A minute ago, I said that in 17 minutes. You see, there's the TV company came. You see, they will film from there. It's one of the points. One of the points to film. Winter Palace, Hermitage. I was taking you here two weeks ago. Check out my video. It's the video which is mostly dedicated to the main rooms and the halls of uh, the Winter Palace. So check it out. Check it out. That's that's vlog. Just like maybe 30 minutes vlog. I'm impressed how you lighten up your buildings. Yeah, because we can. Pamela, Pamela Pischik, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I did something different. Scrolls, cash bar with eyes closed, landed on 200. Whoa, 
Damn, that's a great roll. It turned to be a great roll. It. Well, thank you so much, Pamela. Thank you for supporting my channel all the time. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Two freaking hundred freaking Canadian bucks. Thanks. 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 Well, you see, I don't have like too much of relatively not too much of uh, subscribers because I am non-liberal. But you see, non-liberal subscribers are the best. Thank you, Pamela. That was a great roll. It's okay. Now we need to figure out where we can stay and when where we cannot. So yeah, if you remember for the like holidays, the all the time uh, call the streets when it's a May, when it's a, this the day of the city. Wow, it's like you remember everything, everything covers with the people, everything. Whoa. This is the uh, palace embankments because it begins from the Winter Palace and goes until Marble! Marble Palace! Marble! Also today will be the raising of the drawbridges under the music of Dmitry Shostakovich because, well, technically well, at night, okay. technically, it will be already 25th of September. At 25th of September, it's the birthday of Dmitry Shostakovich. minutes TJO 92507 hello thank you for subscribing my uh, freaking channel Ben H Squids Great Gatsby I wonder if Liana is still in town yes she is who know Maybe, maybe they will reach me today again. Uh, Sun Lounger, hello. Sir Schmangel, the goods. Hi. Albert Roundtree. head full of zombie so you and to all your zombies inside of your head okay 10 minutes it's uh, the final 10 minutes countdown Well, I don't know that all, but a lot, a lot of tourists. Uh, because actually, September is September is still uh, September is still relatively warm month. It's the first thing. Another thing, there's like the whole. Um, it's like like many people many people who always prefer to travel in a little bit like off season 
because they know that it's cheaper, it's uh, more relaxing, more chilling. For example, if that would be now in July, you remember what's in July here? I mean, whoa, it's like you really like you have a hard time to go through the people. I uh, filmed so many nights, uh, nights uh, in the summertime for you, and we saw that. Okay, and like everything is more expensive, the hotels more expensive, the flights more expensive, and uh, like many people always like travel in off season. For example, even Liana now she came because it's like way uh, cheaper to come uh, in September than to come in the, in the summertime and more chilling. It's like. Um, um, uh, well, everything is cheaper. Everything is cheaper. In Russia, we call this a velvet season. I see that uh, Annunciation Blagovechinsky Bridge already uh, opens. Winter is coming, yes. Peter and Paul Fortress. In fact, this is actually like uh, one of Russian Kremlins, but for the reason it have a different style of architecture. I used to show you so many Kremlins in Russia. Do you guys know that Kremlin, Kremlins in Russia are far not only in Moscow. There is Kremlin in Pskov. There is Kremlin in Nizhny Novgorod. The Kremlin in Yaroslavl, Kostroma, and uh, uh, more towns, uh, Kazan, Astrakhan. But technically, all the Kremlins it means fortress. But all the Kremlins are having a, a specific kind of architecture. Well, this fortress have another kind of architecture which is not specific for uh, like the real Kremlins like the Kremlin in Moscow but this is some kind of Kremlin this is the very first place that was like constructed built in St. Petersburg um, the church that we can see now it's St. Peter and Paul Church there are buried almost all Russian Tsars from the dynasty of Romanovs, including Peter the Great and uh, the last Russian Tsar, Nicholas II, and uh, his whole family. <laughs> Murdered because of the revolution of 1917. Meanwhile, only five minutes.
continue joining this as All Russia Tourism Day in St. Petersburg and uh, the beginning of the parade of sailing historic sailing vessels. We are on the Palace Embankment. Patrick, Patrick Morehouse. Thank you for subscribing my totally awesome channel. You guys, uh, please let me know if if you never forgot that my channel is totally totally awesome. I hope you never forgot. Hello, Galina Bragina and everybody. Waiting for opening of Palace Bridge and the beginning of the historic sailing vessels parade. Yes, your channel is totally awesome. Rosser that fifty. There's the drone. No worries, not Iranian. Eleven o'clock. Мой Петербург шумит, гудит, поет. За него изгиба островов овала. 
и кони, и вы, и сфинксов древний род, стоят в удвижном поении славы. По набережным береницы льют, а ветер волны гонит торопливо, и на пути у них мосты встают, что сводят берега легко, красиво. Над ними храмов купола и шпили, и кружева град меняют взгляд. Мой Петербург, ты лучший город в мире. Петром рожден 300 лет назад. The Gym to the Great City, Anthem of St. Petersburg. Сквозь линии пространства, как ботика того, ты 
где Бурусов следит красивое братство, поддерживает нас двух век Марии. There we go. Послушайте 
if somebody just joins and not sure what it is. This is the parade of historic sailing vessels. As uh, the final thing of all Russia tourism day in St. Petersburg. Mark, I wonder if the Scarlet Sales boats will be there. Uh, probably not, because it's um, uh, Scarlet Sales, it's um, the very special thing of Scarlet Sales Festival. Hey, they are like saying for Scarlet Sales come in June. Mofo.
up, Brad Liam? Thank you very much. Sergey Baklikov, Baklikov live from St. Petersburg on Saturday night. Continue my real time, non-stop, no cuts, no edits, streams. Now today here is an old Russia tourism day in St. Petersburg and it's like it's culmination of the parades of historic sailing vessels.
Dia Gazette, thanks so much. Thank you all. I hope you really enjoy it. I hope you really enjoy this historic sailing vessels parade.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this was an all-Russia tourism day in St. Petersburg and its culmination, the parade of the historic sailing vehicles. Russia, Russia, greatness and power, unbelievable depth and quintessential of the history, culture, architecture, literature, arts, science, and music. <laughs> my name is Sergey Baklikov, you're watching Baklikov Live. I continue my uh, live stream from St. Petersburg, Russia, Saturday night in a very uh, historic times today at the 24th of September when it's already for four days here in Russia goes the mobilization and already for two days there goes the referendums in Donetsk People's Republic, Lugansk People's Republic, Kherson region and Zaporozhye region to join Russia. And uh, as I told you, I think that now it's even more important as ever to continue the daily live streams uh, in order to show you what happens, how it goes, what's around, real time, non-stop, no cuts, no edits, no fake, no bullshit, no propaganda live streams. Hello, UKSD. Everybody, continue joining my channel because my channel totally awesome. And just the concept of my channel never leave any room for any kind of BS. Because you see here, here you see what you see. I'm not sitting sitting at home. I'm not sitting in my kitchen or like some guys just like you know sitting and uh, rebroadcasting the web cameras and saying something in their streams and uh, thinking that they are providing a truthful information no i'm always in field okay in field Operation Zenith, 
thanks Sergey no fake no BS yeah no fake no bullshit all the time talking about all uh, Russia tourism day let me tell you that for two days here was a big concert on Palace Square and uh, the parade it's like almost it's uh, it's like it's culmination John, John just became a member. Whoa, it's awesome. It's awesome. Thank you for joining the membership of my channel. <clears throat> okay, now let's go to Nevsky, Nevsky Prospects. All the roads lead to Nevsky. You see, the festival is over and immediately they start deconstructing everything and uh, moving away all the stuff. TB, thank you for subscription to my channel. Everybody, continue subscribing. Today we've reached 20,000 uh, subscribers on my channel, which is pretty great considering that my channel is non-liberal. David Critchley, hello. David Critchley! Critchley! <laughs> there must have been a lot more people last year. I wasn't here last year. And by the way, today it's uh, exactly 10 years of me on YouTube. Uh, my uh, first channel, which is called Real Russia. I started at the 24th of September 2012. Diego Zanata, hi. So Nevsky Prospects. So that's why they were blocking Nevsky Prospect. It happens all the time when here is uh, a uh, when here is uh, some celebrations. Peter C, thank you for subscribing my channel. Nevsky, the beginning of Nevsky. Yes, it's my 10th anniversary on YouTube, Victor Gus. You're absolutely cor correct. <laughs> it's the outside, Sergey. Uh, not sure if I want. <laughs> I want to drink today after yesterday's. But let's see. So the cars are getting sent to the tour. Swine flu 
Mad TV. Hello, man. Uh, Metal Snake 5500. Thanks. Thank you for your super sticker. Nevsky. Level 40 ABC. Thank you for subscription. So here we are on the central streets of St. Petersburg, Nevsky Prospect. Um, here in St. Petersburg, sooner or later, but all the roads lead to Nevsky. Those who are watching me already for a long time knows that Mouse the German My country announced to give asylum to Russian deserters two days ago uh, Yes, I was talking about it two, years, uh, two days ago and uh, there was even uh, some German guys in the chat who said that it's not true they probably never knew yet. Hi, Chad. Chad Clayton. Good evening. My boss is from Russia. My boss is from Russia and learned a lot uh, a lot of your country. time meanwhile 11 46 almost midnight there Sergey it's uh, the police uh, to promote the security for the parade which you just saw which is just just watched when here happens such a mass events always the police which is blocking the traffic and making their like a pedestrian zone Ausravi, thank you for subscribing. Uh, Moika, Moika Riva. Denis and Antunes. Thanks for subscription. Thank you all for subscribing my totally awesome channel. Which brings you the real stuff. Real time, no cuts, no edits. Everything as it is. David C. 
Fisher. Hello, thanks for joining. John Doe, salam. Can you visit St. Petersburg from Helsinki if you have a visa free foreign passports? I don't know how it is now. Inventor Lee Bo Bo Will Barger saying that he is Nazi. Damn. Yeah, I always knew this because I saw your KLW report address. There you're supporting the Nazis. What a shame. St. Peter and St. Paul Church. I hope things get back to normal someday. I'd love to use St. Petersburg. I think everything will be all right. Inventor Lee Barger. I all the time see you support Nazis. Shame on you. Inventor Lee Barger, Will Barger. Damn, shame on you. You're a you're a disgrace. You're a real disgrace. Damn. By the way, uh, inventor Lee Wal Will Barger is one of the guys I, I, I told you about. You remember when I was saying like, the guys who are just sitting at home in their kitchens or just uh, making the rebroadcasts of different webcams from uh, different cities and then bubbling something and thinking that they are know everything and uh, thinking that they are providing you with the uh, real truthful information okay but the thing is like they know nothing or almost nothing okay so but Lee Will Barger is one of those guys he is actually just an individual guy but he named his channel like KLW like he is not like he is a real company it's like that's how you know there in the United States, the uh, companies are called like with uh, abbreviations on NBC and stuff like that, NBC, BBC, CNN, and here also like, you know, like the real channel, like uh, KLW. But the thing is, he's just sitting in his farted sofa at home and he's just like launched uh, OBS, OBS studio for the live stream. Just there opens a, a lot of uh, cameras and all the time like showing different the videos filmed not by him okay and he pre pretend that he knows anything in the moment when here i that's why i'm telling you that i'm the only like truthful source of information these days from russia because you see i'm here i'm in the real places walking kilometers and kilometers and kilometers and i show what happens real time non-stop no edits no cuts you see, I, I just technically don't even have any room for lying. Imagine if now here would be the shit going on or, or something. I would not be able to hide it, right? <clears throat> so that's why, that's why. Just, just my format, my, uh, how to say, uh, uh, my approach itself, my format never allow me to give any bullshit. I'm giving you the real stuff. Yes, 
and we enter a little wall burger. Pretend to pretend to be the head of the of the whole TV company called KLW. <laughs> KLW. But in fact, all you're doing, all you're doing is just like, you know, digging the internet, taking off from there an information that you want to believe. And that's it. You are one of those, you know, just like, uh, you know, parrots, parrots of propaganda. That's who you are. That's who you are. I told you before, and I'm telling you now, that you are absolutely biased and one-sided and you are the motherfucker who six months ago was asking your subscribers to come to my channel and must complain it in order you wanted my channel to be banned by YouTube Diego Z, thanks so much and uh, several days ago you was coming here and was saying that there wasn't a thing like this damn, you really want me to spend my uh, my time like a couple hours of my time to find that live stream in uh, the chat where you there was talking about it and yet you were saying like oh thanks thanks the guys were telling you that they reported me they reported me and you were saying thanks thanks yes need to report that guy because he is a propaganda okay just 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 for the thing i told you that you are absolutely biased and one-sided. I remember that pretty well, that you was asking, you was pissed off at me. You was pissed off. You was pissed off that I said that you're, you're biased and one-sided. And then on your channel, on your channel, you was asking the guys, to go and um, you know report me yeah go check out channel klw klw you will see that even uh, his uh, the thumbnails for his live streams so-called live streams are absolutely biased because if you're like a real journalist you don't really have to take sides but you take taking sides and you're just one of those, you know, parents. The House of Zinger. the real stuff while the guys like inventor Lee Wilbarger on his KLW channel telling you that um, telling you that uh, the Russians are fleeing big time okay actually it's truth some Russians are fleeing but the problem is they making it look like it's like significant amounts of like Russians fleeing in a moment when it's uh, less than, I don't know, half percent, I believe. Mouse the German, go and show us some nice clubs. First order goes on me. Uh, the thing is, you can check out my video from yesterday. And so a week ago, I was making a huge bar hopping. And yesterday was a kind of bar hopping. Uh, damn, excuse me, but today I'm already... I'm already don't have enough of power, do not have enough of power for another bar hopping. Dudes, you need to you need to piece in my liver. <laughs> okay.
Yeah, last week, uh, check out, I was making uh, the whole trip through Rubinstein streets. This is the biggest uh, uh, bar street in St. Petersburg and as a matter of fact in Russia. And I was uh, literally entering into the every bar. Yeah, I know it's gonna be not as fun as I would now go live there, but check it out. Grebaev Canal and the Church of the Savior on Spilled Blood. Sergey, who was the girl you were talking to at the bar last night? Well, there was uh, my wife's my wife, my wife's cousin, my wife's cousin friends, and uh, just uh, one random girl. I don't know who is she. Was just like you know, just had a short, um, short talk, which is like uh, I don't know, just casual talk. <laughs> no, no, just me. Hello, Ziggy Zah, Highland Place, the Great Resist. It's midnight. Midnight in St. Petersburg, Saturday midnight. Oh, Mukbang. Yeah, Mukbang, not Gangbang. <laughs> Cecilia Warner, Daria Maligina, Baikot. Everybody, hi! Basilica of St. Catherine what was the celebration? The celebration was all Russia Tourism Day in St. Petersburg. The parades of the historic sailing v vessels. Gasti Dvor, the guest yard. Okay, Mouse, Mouse, are you here? Okay, Mouse. Actually, okay. Let's let's get to one of the places. It's a rock pub, rock pub. Here is Freddy. Freddy Mercury. Hi Freddy, hi dudes. The X 480K of Top Notch Streams. Thank you so much. Was nice to meet you in the summer time. Welcome back to Russia again. Rock club. 
So here is like uh, exactly everything what you can expect from rock pub. It's like uh, the photographs, the portraits of the most significant rock bands, rock artists. Uh, rock music, essentially selected rock music, and uh, well, bar with all kinds of alcohol. John Lennon, Ringo Starr. Uh, spicy 
pork ears, yeah, pork ears, vegetable, assorted vegetables, herring with potato, salads, uh, Caesar, Greek salads, warm Bavarian salads, soups, borscht, salyanka, mushroom soup, cheese soup, Hot appetizers for beer, burgers, burgers, steaks, pizza, pasta, uh, hot dishes like beef steak, chicken nuggets, pork ribs. The dishes for company, like for company, company. Uh, beer sets, garnishes, sauces, desserts, homemade tea, drinks. It's like uh, non-alcohol drinks, tea, snacks, vodka. Cognac, liqueur, whiskey, champagne, wine, logs, shorts, Severe, come on. Please show us Dumska streets. Uh, Tony used to show this many, many times. But I don't like Dumska. I don't like it. It's like mostly for, I don't know, like for kids. Like for 20 plus guys. You're gonna like actually nothing to do there if you're. Uh, like 35 plus. No, that was. Франциско не так легко найти, только пирожки на 25-й улице, не дождусь, как домой в Россию, опять приеду в Москву. Гарец. И I would love dumplings now, like Russian dumplings. Why is he ignoring me? It's not that I'm ignoring you, but I don't see like, uh, I, I see not old messages. You see the messages here goes all the time. You need to understand that I have a very small uh, 
space where I see your comments and they are moving all the time. I stream from the phone, it's like only one piece of the phone having the place. Welcome from Romania. Hi to Romania. Next time take an iPad. You will not place the iPad on um, City camp, that's the problem. Sean, Sean Perium. Sergey, if you start singing 1979 or tonight, tonight, I'm gonna freak out. Yeah, but I will not do that. Laura Elias, hi to Portugal. Bye, Mac McClory. Same bar as last No, it's uh, Rock Pop on Nevsky. 10103, congrats to 20,000 subscribers. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Yeah, today I've reached 20,000 subscribers. Arendi Bob India. Welcome, welcome to the club, welcome to my channel. Sergey, did you ever have long hair? Never had too long hair. Lee Wahlberger, you don't need to pay anything to me. What was the celebration? I already responded to you. I already responded to you yet 20 minutes ago. Hello, Marsha Marsha. Ron Sudix, do you think Ron will do Liana if she is things down? I have no idea. And you better don't ask uh, such a questions about my cousin, okay? Or you're gonna have problems. You hear me? You're gonna have problems. You at first asking such a questions, and then here you're wondering why? Why, for example, Ronald kicking you off? you're going to say. 
I was debating with the liberals for many times and uh, every time, every time, you was just saying all the same. And uh, you still believe what you want to believe. And notice only what you want to notice. You are liberal and leftist. Inventor Lee is clever, he is making drama to try to get views to his channel. Yeah, if you want to get the views to your channel, just let me tell you, just let me tell everyone to go to watch KLW so-called World News. Inventor Lee will barger pretend uh, he is professional and powerful and resourceful enough making the world news yeah it's not a big deal for me to promote his channel because I know that most of you will leave pretty soon because you will see how unbiased and one-sided he is I don't get your nose stuck in your glass while taking a drink. How is it then to drink it? Are you okay?
Malian, he thinks he is a celebrity. Probably you are thinking you are a celebrity. You named uh, your you named yourself as uh, as uh, the model of Dietrich. And yes, I'm a celebrity. I'm a big celebrity around non-liberals. Why are you not on the front line if you believe in what Putin is doing? Uh, because I was not rough yet. The thing is, the thing is, it is not people here are joining the army. It is the army joining the people. You see, I'm in St. Petersburg. I'm not fleeing. If I will become scripted, I will become conscripted. And uh, it's not about Putin. It's about the defense. It's about the defense of uh, the Russian people on Donbass. Okay. That's what you need to understand. I mean, you're like, you're just like parroting. It's like, for example, who told you that uh, it's all just like about Putin? Who told you that? You see, like, you yourself, like, making for yourself some statements, some statements. Мне необходимо доплатить за балантайн. Карта, карта. Are you a reservist, Sergei? Look, you need to understand that in Russia, almost everybody is a reservist because in Russia, the military service is obligatory. And uh, in the reserve, everyone, even those ones who, however, never served in the army anyway, you are in the reserve. The only thing why you can be not in the reserve if you have a real problems, a real problems, uh, with your health. Inventor Lee War Burger. I was in Donbass. Look, if you was on Donbass, why you call it Donbass? It's not Donbass. It's Don Bus, Don Bus. Okay, I was also there in 2018, in 2018, four years ago, four years ago, and I was talking to the people. And you don't fool me, you don't fool me. I don't fucking care what any media, non Russian me and Russian and uh, foreign media are talking, because I was there myself and I have the videos, check them out. I think Wrong is in hiding. Bill is too hot for him. Okay, man. Uh, mouse, the German. No pop today. Five minutes later, in pop, like me. I was there with Ron 
Well, not not with you, but another round. Okay, come on. So come on, let's go. Rolling Stones, Rammstein. Okay, this was Rock Pub on Nevsky. Rock Pub Freddy. He's asking you, is this a real life? Is this just fantasy? Gasina Dvor, the guest yard. This is the Armenian Armenian church. Daria Maligina still can't calm down. I fucking told you, I fucking told you 30 minutes ago that that celebration was the all Russia tourism day in St. Petersburg. The parades of the historic sailing vessels. The promoter inviting to the bar Sadove, the corner of Sadove and Nevsky Prospects. Yes, this is a subway, this is an underpass just to cross the street and at the same time that's the entrance to the subway, uh, the uh, uh, subway station called Gastin uh, Dvor, it's a um, uh, green line of St. Petersburg Metro. Some street music. Alessia Volkova is saying that her father from St. Petersburg, so it's uh, this city is very close to her heart. Got it. What is the greatest thing to see in St. Petersburg? Well, even hard to um, name anything one certain 
everything is great here. Okay, let me show you Catherine. I want to show you Catherine, Catherine the seconds. Also, it will be a, it will be nice to see the Catherine for inventor Lee Will Barger. Because you know why? Hey, inventor Lee Will Barger. You better check out the history of Catherine the Seconds. And uh, find out who developed all those territories like uh, Odessa, Kherson. Come on, go learn some history. Catherine Garden. Catherine the second, she uh, ruled Russia for 34 years, uh, from uh, 1760 to 1794. The, uh, nation, the Russian National Library, one of so many branches. Russian National Library. Hello, Oscar Xonius. Yeah, Catherine the Great. Hey, Lee Wahlberger. Yeah, really check out the history of Catherine the Great and uh, uh, Nova Russia, the New Russia, Crimea. Uh, so many, uh, so many things. Maybe will get to the puzzle in your in your head. Who knows? Maybe it will turn to be the uh, even the the whole confession for you. Confession. Can you define the liberal for us? Look, when well, I, when I'm talking about like the liberals here in Russia, I mostly mean the Russian liberals, which actually um, don't have too much in common with like the classic liberals. If talk about just like uh, the classic definition of the liberal, well, here the like the the liberal in Russia, it's like you know the guys who like who declare that yes, like they are for the like you know the things like the the freedom of speech, the d democracy and stuff like that. But uh, in in real, the problem is that they are. They are, they are mostly like against all Russian, against all Russian, at least until there is the leader, which is not okay for them. And uh, they absolutely like worship, worship everything like Western and uh, vice versa. They are, how to say, uh, shitting, how to say, shitting, blaming all the Russian things no matter what no matter what because you know it's like uh in their opinion you can love russia but you can't love well in our case now putin's russia okay and uh, they're thinking that now only if you will change the 
you know, the authority, then everything will become great. Immediately here will be the uh, democracy, freedom of speech, the economical rise, everybody will be rich and stuff like that. And uh, so they never, never, ever admit or recognize like any positive aspects of Russia. They admit them only when they understand how actually great it was. Like, for example, now, now, you know, recently um, I saw how one of the Russian liberals are writing in their in his uh, vk.com it's like russian social network that wow it used to be great yet like seven years ago you remember the times when we when 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 we when we um, traveled all over the world well when we and, and that was cheap and that was cheap he says and uh, you remember how we were planning our uh, oh, um, uh, our vacation in Thailand and in, in winter uh, yet in the summer and stuff like that and so now now you recognize that yet five seven years it was so great but in the same time five seven years you was coming to all those stupid you know meetings protests okay and now we're finding out that was a great time but back then you were saying it's not a great time it's an awful time and uh, the reason of those awful times is a putin and the current governments and just we need to kick them off okay so after all if talk about like what it is now it's like literally the guys who are just like worship everything western and uh, like blaming everything Russian, like until the government will be changed and they can't even explain what exactly they are not happy with and stuff like that. And of course, they never, never, never notice anything what is like also no goods, no goods in the West, like uh, in the West. There also happens many things which, uh, well, can be questioned, but they do not see that. And vice versa, here they do not notice anything good, not any progress, seeing only negative. For them, the glass is always half empty and stuff like that. And uh, there is actually not too much of them. And uh, actually all the shit that we have, mostly because of them, because of them. For example, when the Russian government started making uh, the Russian laws in terms of the meetings more tight, it's first of all, they are, it's, it's they are, they have to blame just themselves about that, just themselves, because it's they are we're coming and uh, climbed that they are making the peaceful protests but in real it's absolutely obvious that they try to trigger the uh, orange revolution and uh, actually their leaders their leaders the only ones by the way who will gain if uh, finally they will take the authority like it was back in 1991 when the USA collapsed the thing is well only they are but you know all these teens i feel sorry for them they are actually the victims they are actually the victims of these liberal bullshitters who are bullshitting them they never lived back in 1990s the thing is the thing is back in 1990s in the end in the end of 1980s they're also like the liberals got the authority it's the liberals provokes the fall of ussr and what happened then? Nothing good. We were ruled with the liberals for all 1990s. Yeltsin, Gaidar, Chubais, and other guys. And that was the weirdest times. And back then, many people who uh, also like were so romantics, they were thinking that, okay, 
those people back then they bullshitted way more people than now who believes them but after all after all they got just into the trouble they just got into the trouble okay so uh it was an awful times an awful times and many people then un understood how much they have been bullshitted and deceived big time so that's why now for example you can't you can't bullshit like at least 35 plus people i lived i lived my life i i was already seven years when the USSR collapsed and i remember pretty well how all of my childhood went through 1990s when the liberals ruled and then i remember how the country started to raise up rise up and now reached a very significant results very significant not everything may be ideal but that's it that's it and uh, people now remember now remember how they were deceived back then how they were deceived back then well that's why now there's mostly young guys young guys because now the liberals can only count for um the young generation who don't remember not who don't remember 1990s who don't remember that actually liberals already had their chance they already had their chance okay to rule russia and what they did they just started selling off russia they were completely they were completely controlled from the outside yeah that's it that's it and back then we were considered so we had a very bad life but we but back then the west considered it was a best period of the relationship between russia and the west you remember those hugs with uh, clinton yeltsin and clinton and stuff like that okay so now the liberals are supported with teams and uh, what we call two three percent of ever unhappy people yeah there are still like idiots who like understood nothing understood nothing like i know one idiot who now glorify Gorbachev and saying that whoa Gorbachev did a great thing and stuff like that uh, but you know when Gorbachev came and uh, fallen apart of the USSR you know what they got, that guy did he just left he just left to the United States and lived there for decades you know and in the moments when uh, people struggled here he had a great time was getting late was just uh, having a fun with his American wife, was making kids, and then returned when uh, Russia started getting back to, uh, to normal, okay? And now he's telling us that, oh, it was, it, it was, it was so great in 1990s. You was not living in 1990s. You're gone. So why you never stayed? Why you never stayed? And why you never started to construct the new country after the collapse of USSR? You just gone. Now you get back. When you have found that it's not it's 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 great and in Russia now. Got back, reached success by the way. That guy reached success. Reached success. But still not happy. Still not happy. Okay, Dumska. Somebody was asking me about Dumska. Somehow, I turned to be on uh, Dumska. Somebody was asking. Well, when I'm on Dumska, I'm always just like walking through. I never go inside if, because it's more like for 20 plus guys. I have been supporting him since um, since he started on YouTube, and my members have given him lots of money. What a bullshit! Same bullshit as you say that you never told your subscribers 
six months ago to go and mass report my channel you I remember the day when you started selling about my channel on your channel it was it was in December 2021 less than a year ago and today today my I am already for 10 years on YouTube my first channel on YouTube real Russia I created at the 24th of September 12 uh, 2012 and now you're saying you supported me since I began I began 10 years ago and you first told about my channel on your channel less than a year ago what the hell are you talking about So it seems like most of Russians fled to the bars. According to the Western media and the guys like Lee Will Barger, the people, the people flee from Russia. But look at this, look at this. Seems like most, most guys flee to, to the bars. You see Lee Wilburger, that's the difference between me and you. You just say the things and I show the things. And come on, let's look at this. Again, the truth is, it is the truth that Russian men are fleeing from Russia. But where is not truth not truth that you making it look like it's a very bad thing in the moments when only a very little percent of russian men are fleeing a very little and it is really do not change any anything okay that's 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 the problem that's the problem that's where is like well let's say the lies the lies you are making it look like it's a big thing but it's not a big thing of canal
dismantle the stage here. Here was the stage, another concert dedicated to all Russia tourism day. So I now gonna go back to the Palace Bridge because today another another interesting thing gonna be well not as interesting as uh, the uh, parades of the historic sailing vessels but the thing is the traditional daily raising of the draw bridges today gonna be under the music of Dmitry Shostakovich who at the 25th of September celebrates 116th birthday. Twenty fifth of uh, September, nineteen oh six. That's when that's when Dmitry Shostakovich, one of the most significant Russian composers, was born. Prospects. I need to call my wife. Где ты? Где? Тут я здесь иду тоже. Ты как? А вы зачем? Вы, вы куда идете? Так в смысле? Я же туда все принес в студию. Ну, Но... ну, или что, это все не идем, что ли? Ну, план, план тогда, давай. В сторону чего? Так это надо, да, прям, так это надо прям сейчас идти, если вы хотите, надо прям сейчас уже идти. И э, в сторону, наоборот, в сторону Дворцового моста перейти дорогу Окей, so... Что в итоге вы придумали? Вы в итоге придумали? Вы в итоге придумали идти в студию? Потому что если идти, надо прямо сейчас, надо вообще торопиться и быстренько перейти дорогу, мост. Ладно, давайте завтра. Ладно, давайте то завтра. Альбина, моя жена, ее сестра Лиана. Нормально. 
потом домой приедете. Да, вот сейчас там Шостакович будет. Ладно. Давайте. Ладно, давайте. So, my wife and her cousin Liana, they are working already all day long. They wanted, after all, to go to the studio. They wanted uh, me to make the party for them, to play the house music, uh, deep beats, groovy bass lines and funky vocals. But now they are saying that they are already tired. They are not ready for... They are literally not ready for... Uh, for the party okay I can I can see that looking at their at their faces yeah uh, they already want to relax so maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow I will you know I will play some house music for them but now I'm getting back to the uh, um palace bridge because today the raising of the palace bridge will happen under the music of dmitry shostakovich because well technically today it's already 25th of september 25th of september the birthday of dmitry shostakovich and look maybe you freaking don't know who is shostakovich but believe me but believe me, for Russians, and especially for people of St. Petersburg, it's uh, absolutely, it's absolutely significant person. Dmitry Shostakovich, he composed the 7th Leningradska Symphony. The symphony dedicated to the siege of Leningrad. Only nine minutes to the raising of draw bridges under the music of Dmitry Shostakovich. Forces in the city, sanctions are working, yes. This is the work of the sanctions. Uh, some people already can't afford the cars, so they use the horses for folks' sake. It seems like these guys are running to watch the raising of draw bridges. I don't think that needs to run. Actually, I think eight minutes gonna be enough just to go with a fast step but probably they are not locals. Hello, Susan, Susan M. Welcome back to St. Petersburg. Welcome to Nevsky, Neva River. I'm making the jaywalk. <laughs> it would be a pretty rude jaywalk, but not now. Now it's okay. Yeah, good fella. Actually, now what inventor Lee Barger has to do is like breaking news. You have to cut the moments with the horse and to say breaking news breaking news the russians are resettling on the horses
I never said that. Come on now. Yes, now it's like obviously a bullshit, but but believe me, believe me, that's how your reportage of uh, making a big deal of fleeing less than a half of percent of Russians is about the same. It just doesn't look so, how to say, so obvious how in case with the horses, but when you're trying to, um, how to say, depict fleeing of less than a half a percent of Russians, like a big thing, like a big deal, which is like a game changer. Well, it's actually the same bullshit. You never said anything about the Russians fleeing 6,000 uh, square kilometers. Look, it's also not a big deal. So how much is that? Like, they are retaking 3% uh, of the territory? Not a big deal. I mean, they are retaking that because they made four waves of mobilization and uh, a... Uh, complete supply of NATO weapons and stuff like that so in this case it's like not a big deal the price paid for that absolutely absolutely irrelevant and after all you see so there's no any continue of this. So after all, it turns to be not a big gain. A huge gain in terms of the PLR, but it's not a huge gain in, in terms of like uh, the real results. So I'm sorry, dudes. Okay, you see, I told you, makes no sense to run, makes no sense to run, because you see we already came, but we have yet like three minutes, in fact, maybe five, six minutes, because they are like never begin exactly in like 110. You see, uh, here the guys are always working pretty fast, as soon as the event is getting over, no matter if it's a, it's a night, well, they are coming and immediately taking everything off.
okay one minute to go like officially well but in real maybe three four minutes more and uh, the raising of the draw bridges today must happen under the music of Dmitry Shostakovich Dmitry Shostakovich 25th of September 1906 the birthday of Dmitry Shostakovich today it's 116th birthday of Dmitry Shostakovich or should I say 116th anniversary whoa whoa Barger, look, look, you can make the video saying like, look, a lot of Russians fleeing on the boats from St. Petersburg to Finland. What do you think, man? Please, Kyun, Sergey, this is to you, Shostakovich and the Neva River. Oh, Dmitry Shostakovich, Symphony Number no. Seven. Sostakovich Symphony Number no. Seven.
Дмитрий Шостакович, Seven Symphony. Да, да. Дмитрий Шостакович. Дмитрий, 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 какой The best. Nineteen forty-two. Dmitry Shostakovich, Seventh Symphony. Дмитрий Шостакович. Да. Yeah. His music so powerful. Дмитрий Шостакович.
it was very important for me to come here today in the day well in the birthday of Dmitry Shostakovich 116 years since the birth of this music genius he is genius believe me if you will only if you will only start listening you will understand symphony number five symphony number seven symphony number eight symphony number ten that's what i recommend first of all piano concerto number two cello concerto number one string quartet three and uh, string quartet number eight ho oh ho There is no any special theme of the music, it's just all the most significant melodies of uh, Dmitry Shostakovich. This raising of the drop bridges today dedicated to Dmitry Shostakovich because 25th of September is his, is his birthday. And he is one of the most significant uh, people of St. Petersburg for all its history of this city. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dudes, dudettes, my name is Sergey Baklakov, this is Baklakov Live. Thank you for being today with me for the last four and a half hours. As I said, these days I think it's uh, important uh, as never before to continue making the uh, live streams from Russia in general from St. Petersburg in particular because I'm making the real stuff for you I'm always in the field I'm not singing home I'm not in the kitchen I'm here making the real deal walking all around real time non-stop no cuts no edits no fake no bullshit no propaganda because here it's impossible to hide anything i go for kilometers and kilometers all around and film just everything just the approach itself never give any room for to me for hiding anything you just see yourself I will see you tomorrow thank you for subscribing uh, to my channel uh, thankful to you guys today I've reached on my new channel with actually Baklik of life it's like uh, relatively my new channel uh, we've reached the 20,000 uh, subscribers today Susan M thank you for this live stream thank you too thank you for watching all the time this is really appreciated. Thomas Robinson, buy a coffee for worldwide peace. 
Yeah, thank you. Thank you all. And uh, today also was a very significant day for me. It's like uh, 10 years on YouTube. Uh, my uh, first channel, which is Real Russia, I started at the 24th of September 2012. Okay. Thank you. Never forget to comment, like, subscribe in the end traditional panorama. Uh, Neil McDonald, Susan M, Ashok Poto, Chris F, Greg McMillan, Yolanda Simona, Dario Maligina, Jack Godbaus, Neil Attenbury, Goodfella, Julian G, Junior Skinner, Skibbe, Baikots, Ardas, Jim Hunter, Maus the German, Steven Briggs, London Water, Deb Priam, Wes H, <laughs> Harry Putin, Jaime Gerona, Eugenio, A. Victor, Holy Bizux, I'd rather be your lover, uh, Johnny, John Doe, Real Life, Goli Moly, Ron's Is 2, Michael Wynn, Flowerella, Irene, Okay, ladies and gentlemen, from Neva River, from Palace Embankments, from St. Petersburg, from Russia, with love and peace. Dude, dude.